Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the different types of forces. Remember to click the follow button to get updates about new videos. Have you ever had to push a heavy box of items? Or maybe you've played tug of war. Have you ever had to pull the rope super hard to try to win? Believe it or not, these things are called force. In this video, we will learn about what force is and the different types of forces. Without further ado, let's get into it. A force is like a big push or pull that makes an object move or stop moving. Forces can change the speed, direction, or even the shape of an object. Back to our example earlier, when you pushed a heavy box, you were using force. When you pulled on the rope during the game of tug of war, you were using force. Even though we cannot see force with our own eyes, scientists are able to measure force so that we can learn how it affects how we live and our environment. Force is a vector quantity. This means that it has magnitude or size and it has direction. Force is measured using a unit of measurement called Newtons, which is shown with a capital N. One Newton shows the amount of force that is needed to make something that weighs one kilogram speed up by one meter in just one second. This is how we are able to measure how strong the force is acting on an object. There is a formula that scientists use to figure out the magnitude of the force used to act on an object. If we know the mass and acceleration of the object, we are able to find the amount of force. Therefore, mass times acceleration equals force. We can rewrite this as m times a equals f, where m means mass, a means acceleration, and f means force. When we find the force, the unit of measurement it uses will be in newtons. But what about direction? We use an arrow to show the direction of the force that is being used on an object. So if we are pushing this heavy box, we will have an arrow pointing to the right to show that the force is being acted on the box to move it to the right. Now that we understand a little more about forces, how about we talk about some of the different types of forces? Friction is a type of force where objects rub against one another. It is able to slow objects down. If you push a chair across the room, it will not keep moving forever and ever. It will eventually slow down, right? This is caused by the frictional force that is happening with the chair and the floor. Gravity is a type of force where it pulls objects down. Gravity is all around us on Earth, and it keeps things on the ground. If you were to hold up a pencil in your hand, and then you suddenly stopped holding the pencil, the pencil would quickly drop to the floor. This is because there is a gravitational force acting on the object. Elastic force is a type of force that is used by an object to make it return back to its original shape. Imagine if you stretched a rubber band really far without breaking it. The force used to return the rubber band back to its normal shape is called elastic force. To learn more about force and other science topics, check out this product by Literacy and Math Ideas titled Differentiated Physical Science Passages three levels. The link to this resource will be provided in the description of this video.